What is the best piece of advice ever given to you, Mark? And it can be more than one, personal or professional. As a, a marriage and family therapist, you have to do a lot of supervision. Okay. Um, I've had to do supervision. I've done like supervision live where there's a two-way mirror and people are su supervising you live and chiming in by phone. So they're behind glass? They're behind oh, glass. Wow. And, um, and so in those supervision sessions, I've had a lot of mentors. Mm -hmm. um, one, of the, one of the advice that I got early on was um, in order to be a really good family therapist, you have to leave home. And very few people do it. And, and what does that mean? Leave your biases? Well, I was, I, it, you know, it was an obscure day. And I said, what does that actually mean? And so he kind of told a story and he said, you know, when I was doing my final evaluation, um, they asked me, they said, first of all, you did really great. Um, you were different in every session. Um, but we want to, we got a question for you. Do you drink beer? And, and the, my supervisor was like, excuse me, like, do I drink beer? And he goes, well, I do drink occasionally. You know, I'll drink a beer if I cut the grass or I'll drink one here on the weekends. He goes, do you think anybody in that, in those sessions you just had, do they drink beer? And he said, I don't know, I didn't ask. He goes, you gotta leave home. He says, so your home of drinking a beer after cutting the grass is not what everyone's home looks like. Mm -hmm. And so it's allowed me to expand my questions and so I ask questions that I wouldn't normally ask because that wasn't in my home, but it doesn't mean it's not in someone else's home. Wow, that's pretty powerful. I like that. That's really cool.